struggling to buy a house, first, you're not alone. And second, cutting out Starbucks or avocado toast isn't going to help you get there these days. So you can tell your boomer relatives who are pestering you at Thanksgiving, they can either watch this video or they can have a seat and zip it because a can of beans and a $50,000 IOU isn't gonna cut it these days like it did when you were younger, Gladys. Sorry, that was oddly specific. What you actually need now is a minimum six-figure salary. And you're gonna need to make even more if you live in several specific cities. That's according to a new detailed report from Oxford Economics, which focuses on housing affordability in the United States. And I'm gonna get into all of it in this video. And before I tell you what's in the report, I want you to brace yourself because this report found that housing affordability has dropped significantly over the last five years in every single metro area in the United States. But I'm also going to tell you where the most affordable homes are currently located. Now, according to this report, in order to afford a new single family home and pay both the property taxes and home insurance costs, on average, your total household income needs to be at least $107,700. That income is based on the housing market numbers in the third quarter of 2024. And if a nearly $108,000 annual salary seems like a lot to you, it is. The report found it's actually twice the household income that you needed to purchase a home just five years ago in the third quarter of 2019. And don't feel bad if you're not there. Oxford Economics says only one third of U.S. households earned enough to afford a home in the third quarter of 2024. Back in the third quarter of 2019, the report says nearly two thirds of US households were able to afford a home. Back then, the salary needed to afford a home was $56,800. Now, before I go any further, just know I'm going to email this report out to you in my next News Girl News Roundup email, so make sure you sign yourself up. So what's happening here? What's causing this housing to be so unaffordable? Well, in the third quarter, the report says, yes, it's true, home prices themselves were about 50% higher than they were in 2019. In the third quarter of 2024, the median home price in the United States was almost 409 thousand dollars. While that is a lot, the report found the real affordability killers were the increases in mortgage rates from 3.7% to 6.5% combined with higher property taxes and home insurance rates. Oxford Economics defined home affordability by assessing whether a home's monthly payments exceeded more than 28% of a person's income. Now, don't forget here, causing all of this, we had a pandemic. Tons of people moved into bigger homes and locked in super low mortgage rates, which they are not giving up, which lessens the supply of homes on the market. Then big corporations and big conglomerates came in and bought up all the single family starter homes to rent them out. And they're not giving up those cash cows either. And in case you missed it, we have a significant housing shortage in this country. All that combined with the demand of the rest of us trying to get into a home has driven up the price of both new and existing homes. Not to mention the increase in size and scope of natural disasters like wildfires and hurricanes, which has jacked up the price of insurance or even worse, caused insurance companies to just not offer homeowners insurance on those properties anymore. Needless to say, this is a complicated, multifaceted problem. Now, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned housing is becoming less affordable for folks in specific states. So now let's talk about where. One is no surprise, and the other may actually surprise you. The report found that four of the top five cities with the least affordable homes were in California. 
That's no surprise. By far, literally not even close, the least affordable homes were in San Jose, California, where you have to have a nearly half million dollar annual salary to afford a place to live. The other three cities with the least affordable homes in California were San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego. Now, this may surprise you. The report found that the state with the biggest decline in housing affordability since 2019 was Florida. Seven of the top 20 cities that saw the biggest affordability decline included Ocala, Florida, Panama City, Florida, Port St. Lucie, Lakeland, Punta Gorda, Naples, and Deltona, Florida. The report found homes in those cities became more unaffordable because of the number of retirees who moved into the state, which then jacked up home prices. Lastly, let's talk about the most affordable cities in the third quarter of 2024. The report found nine of the 20 most affordable metros were in the Midwest, but the Midwest isn't immune to unaffordable homes. According to the report, between 2019 and 2024, housing prices definitely went up in the Midwest, and the income needed to afford those Midwest homes doubled. But if you choose to live in Cleveland, Louisville, or Detroit, your annual income can definitely be much less than that $107,700 average annual income needed for the rest of the country. Now, here are all the other cities where the income needed to afford a home is less than that national average. Again, if you want to read this report for yourself, I'm gonna email it out to you in my next News Girl News Roundup email, so make sure you sign yourself up.